Okay, so it comes in two packs, and with these beds, it's best to open both packs up at the same time rather than open one, do that, and then open the second, because you're going to need stuff from both packs immediately. And the design of this clip stud bed is very similar to the double clip stud bed I produced earlier. This is a king size. Other than that, it is, as you'd expect, identical. This is the headboard cover. Very cute that cupboard until we need it. Slats we're not going to need just yet, and I'd recommend handling the slats with gloves if you can. Because there are some small opportunities for splinters. I've got one on the previous bed assembly. Okay. And this is the first thing we're going to deal with, which is the head board. And there's one of the slats. These are the sides of the bed. And this is the central stanchion of the bed. This is the foot of the bed. You can tell by the two holes there, which need to be in the middle of the foot of the bed and on the inside part of the bed. Very important. They're also at the lower, so you don't flip it around there at the top. They need to be at the bottom there. Come to that in a moment. These are the feet for the central section. Uh, and these are the legs. These are the legs at the end, and these are the legs at the headboard end, which we will need in a moment. Okay, so first of all, the Elmangry does come with a couple of hex bits here. They're actually pretty good, and you will need those uh, unusually. Usually I wouldn't rate the, uh, the tools you get included with any flat pack furniture, but in this case, either use your own or use the ones that are included there. Uh, and you probably want to sort these out before you start blazing away. Now there's, these, there's two of these which you'll need shortly. They are different to all of these others. So that's it, that's all sorted. To start with, you wanna make sure that this is rolled out like this. And the, this, this circular bit is rolled right out and in by about half a turn. So just so, it's just enough that these caps could go over the edge of there if they needed to. Then what you wanna do is get the headboard supports, which also includes the feet for the headboard end. And you see how one end has got multiple holes, almost looks like a colander, and the other end has just got two holes. The end with the two holes, that's gonna go at the circular end, so at the top there. And you wanna make sure that the large of the two holes is on the outside so that the bolt can go straight through like so. And yeah, make sure it's fairly, almost a whole roll, a whole turn roll in there. Just tighten it up by hand to begin with. Do the same on the other end. Okay, and you want to get your drill driver set to a torque of about 10. So you want a four mil hex bit and these two smaller bolts that are different to all the others. And you want it to go on the, the bottom most, so the one nearest the cloth there. That's it, that's what you want. So it's there again on the other end. And then the instructions recommend you get some books, but to be honest, you don't really need books. You just need to hold that in place while you can use hand pressure to just put that on there. Same again with this end. Hold it in place. Just get some hand tension on there. And then get your 5mm hex bit on there. Do it up to a tension of about 10. And make life so easy for yourself. Just Put the tension on there so it's going on square. Don't rely on the bolt to do the work for you. Okay, now we do the, the foot of the bed. Okay, now assembly of this end piece at the foot of the bed is absolutely critical. First of all, these two holes need to be on the inside of the bed and not on the outside. Second, they need to be at the base, at the bottom part, and rather than at the top part. So I don't flip it around like this, uh, the other way up. These holes want to be at the bottom and on the inside. The feet, now this is really important, the larger hole here in the middle, there's obviously these two holes there, but the one in the middle, that larger hole wants to be on the outside, so the, uh, the, uh, the bolt can go through the larger hole and into the bed. And you also wanna pay attention, and this is critical to these other two holes, because once you put the bolt through this larger hole, you then wanna be able to put 
two bolts through these holes into the side parts. Now, if you install it like this, they'll be the wrong way around. So it actually wants to be, it is, it does, it is side dependent. And this one wants to go on this side. That will allow you to have two larger holes there, which will leave these two smaller holes here ready for the bolts to go through like that into the side support. Okay, so really important, really critical to just be really careful and uh, assembling this uh, this section. Okay, so do it up to talk of about 10. Same again, you can see the uh, middle hole there is on the outside, allows the bolt to go through, and these two holes here are larger than these two on the uh, inside there. Very, very easy to get caught out by that. The instructions do show you what to do, but it isn't entirely clear in my view. You can go ahead and assemble the sides as well. So these sides can go either way around, but what you want to just make sure is that the uh, the cutouts there are pointing towards the end of the bed, uh, and that the smaller um, gap there is on the bottom, not on the top. So the larger gap is on the top there. Okay, simple as that. And all you want to do is get a couple of these bolts. And you'll notice that because I'm doing this on my own, that I can't, obviously can't raise the other end of this side. So what I'm going to do is raise it up a bit and I'm going to tilt the headboard down so that the angle's about the same. And you can tell the if the angle's about the same because the gap just here obviously varies depending on what angle they're both at. So you want it about the same because that way then the thread will go in perfectly. And the threads are going to be quite sensitive to that, so make sure you take your time getting that right. Now that the angle is about the same, I'm going to do these up to about 10. Headboard's already leaning over at roughly the right angle because of being attached to the other side, so it's not so bad on the second one. Then you can go ahead and put the base of the, the foot of the bed on. And because you were so careful earlier on with getting those feet on correctly, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. Let's get that first one in by hand. And this is one where you definitely want to do both sides to about half, half the full tension first before you tighten them up properly because these are the final four bolts going in. So that's the main frame of the bed assembled. Just the central support now. These two feet want to go on the underside of this central stanchion. So do be sure to have it the right way up. So you want these keyhole cutouts at each end to be this way up, not facing the floor. And you also want to get these longer bolts and these large penny washers or mudguard washers as they're sometimes called in the world of motorcycles. That's quite a nice design feature. And it doesn't go like this, it goes like this. There you go. Straightforward, do it by hand a little bit to start with. Okay, then you just want these four shorter bolts to secure the central stanchion to the rest of the bed frame. Um, if you find your feet are not quite touching the floor after you screwed it in, it means you've got these holes the wrong way. They're at the top and not on the bottom. Now these ones you are not going to be able to do up with a drill driver. You will need to do these up manually, whether you've got your own Allen key set or whether you're using the ones they supply, which to be honest are quite adequate. Uh, and I believe it's the smaller of the two, the four millimeter one, which you want to use. There we go, yep. Okay, so that's the whole frame of the bed assembled. Now we just need to get these plastic clips and so forth. In the appropriate places, these last two end caps they go on 
there. You can do them by hand or sometimes they need a tap with a hammer on the other bed that I did like this. It did just need a tap with a hammer, just yeah, and these do as well actually. So these C clips have to face out away from the centre of the bed, okay? The middle ones are quite tight. Yeah, as you can see. So again, facing away from the middle of the bed. That actually wasn't tight at all. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. Um, and again, these are the same shape but half the, half the width. Facing away from the centre of the bed, not tight at all. So that one. There we go. Facing away into the large hole, push back into the smaller hole. There's the final one. Okay, before we can put the slats on the bed, we just need to put some protective felt padding down. get all the spare bits that you saved earlier and yeah I mean even even with these bits it's going to be pretty hard to cover all the bases but what I'm going to do I'm not going to adhere these yet I'm actually going to get the slats out that's low that's high and that's low and it just clips into that clip there push it pretty close to the edge because you're going to need a fair amount of space to get the other side in Now you're going to have your positions for your bits of felt there. One bit under here. I'm going to want one bit right there and another bit, probably that way around, I would suggest, um, which is going to want to be about there. I'm going to put that about there in that direction. And then just put a bit of tension on it, put the middle in first, and then the outer. And it just makes it slightly easier that way. Put them close to the middle of the bed. To the edge of the bed, sorry. And then we can do the other side. And that is how you assemble a clip stand bed from IKEA. Hope that helps. Please feel free to leave a comment below. I believe all feedback respectfully delivered is a gift. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos, please consider subscribing and be sure to press the bell button to make sure you get notified each time I upload a new video. I will be sure to be adding more IKEA videos in the future. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Oh, shit. I don't have bloody bathroom. I've still done it wrong. I can't bloody believe it. Oh, fucking... Perfect. And now we can do these end parts as well.